The Dawn Era is a modification for Minecraft that brings many changes to your world, including 15 new unique mobs, couple blocks and a lot of items, and all mobs spawn naturally. All mobs feature flawless animations, you might witness a Tyrannosaurus Rex hunting down lower tier mob, and this mod is compatible with most popular mods. If you possess a saddle designed for taming, you can attempt to tame the corresponding dinosaur, there are four large dinosaurs that can be tamed. While riding a dinosaur, you can make it roar to intimidate nearby creatures or command it to bite a target, inflicting substantial damage. Additionally, unlike other creatures, dinosaurs slowly regain health when not in combat. Also, you can equip tamed dinosaurs with additional armor, enhancing their combat capabilities and making them look even cooler. Lastly, by using shift right click, you can engage in more specific interactions with them. Redden's Stone Lanterns is a decorative mod introducing stone pillars, multi-block, and single-block stone lanterns, all designed in an East Asian style. Additionally, you can right-click to switch whether to light up or not. This mod serves as an add-in for epic fight, introducing a boss and weapons inspired by the anime Vinland Saga. Experience the agility of Thorfinn in this mod as he moves with the grace of an assassin. Swift and versatile, Thorfinn's actions mirror the finesse of a seasoned warrior, bringing a dynamic and exhilarating playstyle to your Minecraft adventure. Upon Thorfinn's demise, expect to find his daggers as a fitting tribute, these lightweight weapons can be wielded with a single hand or dual wielded for a nimble and versatile combat style. Additional enchantments introduces 11 new enchantments to the game, spanning across melee, ranged, and helmet categories. Faster attacks increases attack speed, and the enchantment level increases the amount. Plague applies a poison effect to entities which deals magic damage, also has a chance to spread to nearby targets. Enchantment level increases the duration, damage while reducing the time between damage ticks. In addition, it also increases the chance and range for the spread. Wither applies a wither effect to entities which deals wither damage. Confusion has a chance to cause the attack target to retaliate against a randomly chosen nearby entity, dropping the attacker as a target. Explosive tip causes an explosion on impact, which does not damage the shooter, their allies, experience orbs or items, and it's possible to switch between two modes. Homing makes projectiles fly towards a chosen target, invisible entities are only targeted if they're glowing. The enchantment level increases the radius in which a target gets picked, and it's possible to switch between various modes with the key bind. Shatter allows the usage of amethyst shards as projectiles, there is a high chance for them to break on impact which will deal damage in an area. Straight Shot disables gravity for shot projectiles and has a chance to hit endermen, the enchantment level increases the chance to hit them. Tipped applies random effects to the arrow, and in turn to the target it hits. The enchantment level increases the amount, amplifier, and duration of the effects. It's possible to switch between effect categories. Perception outlines nearby entities and distinguishes them by color, items are colored depending on the color of their display name. The enchantment level increases the range, and it's possible to switch between different modes. Or sight outlines nearby or blocks with different colors based on their rarity group, and it's possible to switch between the rarities with the key bind.
This mod introduces a variety of pets, including dogs and kitties, with the promise of more to come. Polypets currently features 13 dog breeds, such as Labrador, Pomeranian, and German Shepherd, each requiring meat items for taming and breeding. Additionally, the mod offers four kitty breeds like Calico and Bombay, tamed and bred with fish items. Players can create their furry companions, but patience is key as puppies and kittens must grow to be tamed, mirroring the challenges of real-life pet training. Medieval Seed Bags is a simple mod that introduces blocks for the compact storage of seeds. These blocks not only serve a practical purpose but also add a touch of medieval aesthetics to your buildings, thanks to their simplistic design. Pouches and bags can be made at crafting table or with a mechanical press from Create Mod. You can create these right in your inventory while harvesting crops to prevent inventory overflow. If you need a clean bag without a label, just put it facing towards the wall. Also, this mod is compatible with several well-known mods like Farmer's Delight. Sniff's Weapons is about expanding on the weapon variety that Minecraft provides, making combat a bit more fun by giving every new weapon special abilities and effects. Great Sword deals more damage than a normal sword, and has a far greater sweep attack. Additionally, when shift attacking, you will deal critical damage and launching your opponent in the air. Great Axe deals more damage than a normal axe, when a critical hit is given you will deal shockwave damage, so surrounding mobs will be affected. Great Bow deals a lot more range damage than a normal bow, and can shoot further. However, it takes more time to shoot. While holding the Great Pickaxe, you can right-click to block. However, the blocking duration is only 2 seconds, so you need to time it carefully. Surcoats and helms are customizable with various colors, and the feathers sway rapidly during rain, available in nearly all material variants as well. Fuse's Relics has added some new items and mobs in the latest update. You can craft a telescope using copper and netherite scraps to access a GUI that displays upcoming celestial events along with their distances. Witness meteor showers featuring gas balls landing in a salvo of 20, or experience satellite falls with explosive end stuff on the ground. Qmise makes amusing noises and exclusively follows players. You can adopt him by giving him an iron sword, and he will proudly hold it in his hand. Bazooka recharges with rockets, draws in a straight line, and can be manually guided when mounted. Galette de Royce is a special food that gives you a crown among the four bites. Cramped makes you write in the chat a bit easy but koiku. The first time you trigger Jetpack, it opens a GUI with the fuse string and a subscribe button. A piggy bank enables the storage of gold, diamonds, and emeralds without any limits, but retrieving the stored items is impossible except by breaking the piggy bank. Nerd is a villager with glasses that spawns when you die, he will write you a custom message depending on how you died. Harry Potfleur is a pot that allows to plant classic plants, but gives them an auto bone meal effect if you let your plant grow to the max stage. You can have an improved version of the basic plant's big carrot, which gives night vision, big potatoes, which gives fire resistance, and big beetroots, which gives regeneration. Lucky's Blocky Siege has added some new features in the latest update. Spewers are now stackable, can stack three on top of one another, and each fire completely on their own. All turret golems have a revamped aiming system, allowing them to fire very accurately and reliably. Added new cast iron blocks like pillars, walls, scaffolding, and fences. The Cannon Golem has been introduced to the mod, but it is not craftable due to its overwhelming power, requiring careful balancing. Added tutorial screens to cannons, mortars, giant cannons, and spewers to help players better understand how to use the blocks. Cracking sound effects have been incorporated into the Golem turrets, enhancing the immersive experience with distinctive cracking sounds. 
giant cannons and crushers now activate when given redstone signal to any part of it. This mod adds an extensive array of content, including over 400 structures to explore, from small ruins to complex dungeons. Many of these structures feature treasure chests with unique loot tables and custom items. This mod provides a customizable heads-up display that allows you to monitor various in-game elements, from player coordinates to armor and item status. You can choose the position, text color, and background color to suit your preferences for every element. For using Elytra, it displays remaining durability and other relevant information. Player coordinates keeps track of your X, Y, and Z coordinates with a customizable HUD. Armor and item display monitors the durability and quantity of your armor and held items. Time display stays aware of the in-game time with a stylish time display, and FPS display keeps an eye on your game's frames per second with customizable. Spawn structures simplifies the process of creating a protective or helpful building at your world spawn point for new and respawn players. It generates a custom structure with a lectern, two chests containing looter-compatible loot tables, and a bed for nighttime respawns, making your world more convenient. Abyssal Decor is a mod that features a whole suite of unique, decorative building blocks. Discover a world of fantasy with Abyssal Decor, a decorative mod that brings a plethora of enchanting blocks to your Minecraft experience. Whether crafting mysterious castles, ancient temples, or breathtaking courtyards, the unique building blocks offered here provide endless possibilities for your creativity. Transform your world and create stunning fantasy landscapes. This mod adds the Lucky Pot, which is a perfect addition for your survival experience, especially if you are stranded on an island. The Lucky Pot will wash up on shore every so often, containing random loot and even mobs if you're lucky. This is the 1.20 fork version of Eden Ring, since the original mod has not been updated to the latest game version, so you can try this version. Sawmill is a straightforward mod that introduces a single block and a new villager profession. Distinguishing itself from other sawmill mods, this one operates automatically with any wood item. It automatically generates sawmill recipes for any item crafted entirely from wood, ensuring compatibility with any mod. This mod adds more than 35 trinkets that you can find in dungeons chest all over the world, each trinket grant different combat-related bonus. Additionally, you can upgrade the Prethios ring and necklace with two netherite ingots to double the strength of the buff given. Additionally, in the most dungeons, you can find Precios sacks that when opened will give you an incredible powerful ring or necklace. Sight is a simple mod that introduces some practical tools, with a style inspired by Create. Signal Gun displays the positions of entities within a 15 square radius. You can obtain the signal flare through transactions at the tool merchant with a journeyman level. Smoke Bomb creates a smoke barrier and attracts monster attacks. Also, it adds other warning lights and redstone components with different styles. This client mod introduces a bound key functionality enabling the deactivation of interactions with functional blocks and facilitating block placement next to them without the need to hold shift. Little Geode is a mod focused on a single item, the Geode. 
Breaking blocks such as stone, deep slate, netherrack, or endstone presents a small chance to obtain one of the geodes provided by this mod. There are six types of geodes, and their rarity depends on the type of block you break. Excessive Building is a building mod that aims to improve the user's experience by introducing a plethora of new ways to build that maintain the vanilla feel. New building blocks includes mosaic planks, cobblestone bricks, brimstone, and much more. Vertical Stairs are a new block variant for any block with stair variants, great for making smoother corners or circular builds. Additionally, new glass and light blocks have been added, which act as expected. Forge Shot is a mod that allows you to take high-quality screenshots on Forge. Additionally, you can press F4 for a large screenshot and F6 to access the settings, and everything is customizable. Sleep Time is a mod that makes Minecraft becomes more realistic. When you go to sleep, time in Minecraft will speed up, for example plants will grow faster. This mod enhances your gameplay by displaying the health points of mobs, players, or any entity with health points in a more convenient way. Unlike other health indicators that appear in the top left or top center of the screen, this mod places the health points near the player's crosshair. This provides a more user-friendly experience, particularly for players with large monitors and smaller interface sizes or when dealing with large mobs. This mod makes mobs dance after killing enemies, surviving from a war, or breeding. This mod adds Chinese Kung Fu to your vanilla game, allowing you to toggle charge jump mode with X by default, and perform a jump by crouching for about 2 seconds when clouds burst out beneath your feet. This is a client-side mod that adds floating damage numbers, with great customizability and spell engine compatibility.